Welcome back and we're moving to a different topic and this is application or using on the fly filter in commerces. These are very, very critical tool in commerces and let me just show you how it works and how to apply it. We have the components in place and let me first of all get rid of this circle because uh, this was from our previous topic and let me just mm -hmm. that. And now let me just create some, uh, some few connections here. And uh, connection there, let me just uh, create a connection. Let me come to beam to column here, and I want to create a haunt, a haunt connection. And let me just uh, create one quickly. And uh, come here and select, uh, select main component and secondary, and right, right click that to create a connection there. And let me come to, uh, let me come to beam to beam. If I come beam to beam here, I'll be able to get haunt connection here. Uh, um, Apex connection there, Apex haunch. And if I click there, I'll be able to get that. So I have a simple connection place. Though we'll not get, get into details of the, this because this is a topic special, special uh, that is special for this is coming. So I, I want just to uh, show you how we can apply on the fly filter here. Now, I can come and uh, maybe I want to select only the beams. And instead of coming here and press control and selecting on the beams one by one, it's 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 it is it is it takes a lot of time and uh, that will not be uh, uh, will not be pro uh, will make the user unproductive. And what you can do, you can just you can se select everything or press control and enter on your keyboard. So the moment you enter on your keyboard once once you've selected everything, you will be prompted with this group object selection. So in here, this is what we call on the fly filter. So we have points, we have we have joints, we have plates, we have ribbons, we have cards, we have all these in place, and we have grids. So this is a, a the filter. So you filter what you want to see or you want to work on. So inside here. We have construction line, construction line already selected here, here by default. So maybe we want profile. We want, we want to filter by profile. So the moment we pick on profiles, we'll have IPE uh, uh, has been picked. IPE, and maybe we want bolts. So we'll see bolts here. We have uh, uh, D, D12 and we have D16. So by if I pick on D16 here and double click on it, I'll be able to even change that size without even going to, to, to the allocation physically by just changing the, the, the diameter from here. I can, go, I can go straight here and feed in, feed, feed in a different diameter. So that's how you filter that. So maybe, uh, our selection is not that massive or that big because uh, the model model is very small and uh, probably we, uh, on the column we, we've used IPE 300, IPE 300. So that's why we don't we don't have so many uh, um, so much in our selection. So I repeat once again to to apply the on fly filter, select the whole model, then enter on your keyboard. Then maybe if you want to narrow down on the plates, pick on the plates. So on the plates, we have the ones available where we are are these. And if you go by uh, profiles, just pick on the profiles and maybe group beams. We have beams here. So we have columns. We can check the group beams. So this has been grouped as we have uh, 16. We have 16 IPE uh, 300 beams and we have 10 IPE 300 columns. Uh, IPE 300 columns. And maybe we want only the columns. Here, here, the rest we can go ahead and click. Uh, once we've done so, we can go ahead and uh, double click on it. So the only to double click on it, we can all also go ahead and change the size of these columns right from here without, without even going to change them one by one. You can just go ahead and go and uh, click that I beam I beam section. I can go to the families and change that to a, to a different to change that to a different. Uh, profile. Let me just click on that. Let me just minimize that and click on that. And maybe I want to pick a different, a different I, uh, I beam or IPE profile. Let me pick on that and uh, pick slightly, just for demonstration only, and uh, pick uh, select. 
And if I come here and click OK, you'll be able to see everything changes automatically without going one by one and picking. So I can I can always undo that and select everything once again. I'll press Enter on your keyboard like that and pick on the beams and maybe pick on the beams and, and maybe let me just pick on the beams and maybe group beams and maybe beam type. So you can see the beam type, the eyes, the eye has been added and maybe if you add the material and you can see by default it is steel. So this is this becomes in the material. And now a beam type you can get rid of that and maybe we want uh, we want uh, beams or we want uh, maybe the uh, the beams this time round and I'll just go ahead and click close. So the moment I click close, I have my beams selected and maybe I want to perform a different action here. Maybe I want to hide this. I can always right click and come to hide selected. So if I if I click hide selected, I'd be able to hide only those the beams I've just selected. And uh, visibility here, maybe this is just a symbol of connection. You can always go ahead and hide it uh, and uh, deselect that. Come here and deselect that and that will, uh, that will hide. And maybe there's so many ways you can hide your columns. Maybe I can come here and I don't want to see the columns here. You can just check that and you will not see them. Maybe you don't want to see the grid line. You can just come here and see or click on the uh, I don't want to see. These are just visibility tools on the components you want to see, like uh, on, the, on the grid line that can bring it back, and maybe I want my columns back. So that's how you apply the on-fly uh, filter. So there's so much we need to discuss using on that uh, using on-fly filter uh, because this just uh, a, 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 um, to get you running in commerce. There's so many advanced topics that are coming ahead of you and uh, we'll discuss that as you go let's meet then on a different topic and uh, don't uh, and uh, try this by yourself and that will i'll be uh, that will be my happiness if you can do that by yourself and let's meet then on a different topic bye bye <music>